Hi there, welcome back to our Hillsong College Online Open Day. My name is Chris and I'm one of the college team here and it's great that you could join us and we've actually got a great session lined up for you. I'm here with some of our higher education team from Hillsong College. Uh, this here is Tracy Barrell. Uh, she actually oversees and runs all of our higher education programs, which is really exciting. And next to her, we've got Dr. Tanya Riches, who actually runs all of our master's programs here at Hillsong College, which is great. And then we've also We've got Matt Gilmore, who um, actually uh, is in charge of one of our campuses when it comes to our higher education. And so he looks after all of our higher ed students at the city campus. And uh, so it's really good. It's good to, for you guys to all be with us. So Tracy, I might start with you. Yes, Chris. Um, why don't you tell um, everyone online what courses we offer um, at Hillsong College? Yeah, absolutely. So you've already heard us today talking about our practical ministry training. When it comes to higher education, we are offering both undergraduate and postgraduate courses. So that looks like a Bachelor of Theology offered here at the Hills campus, but also at the city campus face to face uh, and online, which we might talk about a little bit more. Uh, but we also offer a Master of Arts as well as a Master of Theology course, which Tanya will be talking about a little bit more today. But it's really great that we're able to have that offering, both undergrad and postgrad. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Why don't you also tell everyone what your favourite subject is to teach and why? <laughs> Well, it is a toughie. It's a toughie. Well, I teach <laughs> generally um, within the theology stream, you could say. So, look, I don't do languages. Um, nah. No. Why would uh, you? No, exactly. Uh, so I leave that to the, <laughs> well, the, the biblical guys. Uh, uh, we can, there are reasons. <laughs> yeah. that question. But they're not strong but enough for me. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So I'm mostly in the theology subjects. We have a great um, subject that, that everybody does when they first come into the course called Christian Worldview. It's uh, you, you kind of ha you have to do it to then do the other subjects, uh, and it's a bit of a helicopter ride mm. over all of the, yeah. the basics of Christian theology, and provides this on ramp into some other great subjects that are also my favourites. So, like at the moment, I'm teaching pneumatology. Would you believe it? You can st you can do thirteen lectures on the spirit. Amazing. Who'd have thought it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> last semester, I was teaching Christ and salvation. So, look, I actually end up loving all of them. They're all my favourite subjects. What did you just teach this morning? This morning, I taught on the modern Pentecostal movement. Mm, very cool. So, very yes, cool. we did a little bit of a bit history. Of dancing. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had a camp meeting. Oh, good, good. <laughs> a camp. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we looked at our history, which was really great to help mm. us understand who we are now and where all of that came from. So, so we good. were looking at the Methodist holiness movement. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then how the Baptists responded to that mm. and how oh, we had cool. to uh, self-reflect and, you know, just... Uh, mature in our theology, which was to start with quite experiential. Mm. Um, but yeah, we had we had to learn to think through our faith, which really describes our course, yes. I guess you could say. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And if any of you actually start mm. our online program, you'll actually see Tracy's face quite a lot because she lectures on our online program as well, which is really cool. Yeah. Tanya, what's yes. your favourite subject to teach at Hillsong College? Oh, my favourite subject. Um, well, there's so many. I think, it, like Tracy, every subject is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I think Theology of Social Justice is kind of one of our... Um, um, one of those units that you kind of just realise why you're in the classroom. Mm. In looking mm. at today, we're looking at um, human trafficking uh, mm. and exploring this really important issue. So I think for me, theology of social justice allows us to really start to attend to our world and to think through why we might do a degree like a bachelor of theology or a master's yeah. of arts um, or a master of theology, and why we might give ourselves to that. Mm. You know mm. those those issues in the world are a really pressing reason to yeah. study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I um, sat in some of those lectures uh, <laughs> last year and Tanya's brought in some incredible sessional uh, lecturers as well. So it's not, you know, just like our team. Speakers, yeah. 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 So not just our team who are great, but then it's really good to get diversity and different yeah. voices mm -hmm. and experts mm -hmm. in their own fields. So we're really, you know, pumped with our offering mm -hmm. in that respect as well. Yeah. yeah. And I think, like, you know, to be able to listen to the different... So Bush talks about the face of the church and to be able to look at how the different I guess parts of the church all bring justice into the world and be able to attend to that and be able to say not so much like you know we do this you do that but to go you do that really well mm. and we're learning about God through the expression that you are on, on the face of the earth I mean that's a beautiful way I think to learn in the classroom and to hear yeah. from other people who are just yeah mm. worth celebrating really Absolutely. Oh, yeah. so good I want to I want to sit in your class that's <laughs> 
You should, um, Chris. Yeah, I would love to. I'd love to. Um, Matt Gilmore, as I said before, he runs our program at City Campus. And uh, Matt, tell us what it is, what subject you love teaching the most at Hillsong College. Um, so I love teaching ethics because just like theology is social justice, I feel like that's somewhere uh, where theology kind of hits the road and you see the way your Christian worldview and the gospel starts to play out in the real life situations we find ourselves in. Uh, and equally, I kind of consider ethics and hermeneutics to go hand in hand, properly understanding the Bible and seeking to understand it uh, the way that God intended it to be understood. Um, is a really, really important subject, especially when people are basing their lives and churches are being structured on the way we understand this text. Um, that kind of leads me to be very passionate about hermeneutics, which is a subject all about the methods of interpreting the Bible and doing that well and understanding the meaning that's uh, latent there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I guess those two subjects go hand in hand for me, and, um, yeah, I really love them. That's excellent. Yeah. And uh, if you have any questions, by the way, make sure you jump on our Facebook um, um Facebook comments and uh, throw your questions and uh, I've got a device here which will uh, they'll flash up so we can hopefully answer some of them mm. but Matt I think it would be really good to share with our online audience like what's a day in the life of a degree student look like at Hillsong College like what what, what mm. happens when you get to campus mm. what happens when you well it depends yeah. on which day and it depends on which campus yeah. if it's the city campus you'll be overlooking the beach <laughs> you'll be no um, the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you need to go to Wollongong for that, I think. Oh, yeah. But uh, um, Hey, listen, I mean, maybe say on a Tuesday, you'll have a number of subjects in the morning. If it's today, which is a Tuesday, you might have had pneumatology, yeah. a lecture, uh, and then you'll head to chapel service where our entire college comes together uh, to worship and to hear a sermon, uh, which is a really exciting moment in our week. Uh, and then the afternoon, you might have a lecture, um, but this is really down to whether uh, you've selected certain classes and ultimately you get a say in which lectures you choose uh, and that will kind of structure the way your week-to-week -week program works. And so you might have a lecture in the afternoon, you might not, at which point uh, you might find yourself in the library uh, studying for an essay or so, um, or it might be time for some work, uh, go to the cafe you're working at. Um, or maybe you want to head to the beach for a surf, I don't know. But um, yeah, that could be what a day might look like. Well, you've very modestly not mentioned the tutorial that you'll be running oh. this afternoon. So yes. after my uh, pneumatology lecture this morning, mm. uh, those students will be going to a tute with Matt. So he'll be mopping up nice. after me. Yeah. <laughs> the camp meeting. Camp meeting <laughs> Bringing two. it down. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's one of the things we love two. about our delivery is that we get to, in tutorial settings, unpack some of the content mm. yeah. and thrash that out and talk about how that works in the world, how we walk that out in our church life as well. And uh, then he'll also help them prepare for those essays. So they don't have to do them on their own in the library. He'll be guiding them through those too. Yeah. So, yeah, our lecture and tutorial um, setup is one that we think is really, really helpful here at Hillsong College. Yeah. Um, okay, there's a bit of a myth out there, which is you have to be really smart or really intellectual to, to do a Bachelor of Theology or a Master of Arts in Theology. Um, do you want to bust that myth for us? And also maybe, <laughs> not you personally, not you personally. Um, but very smart. I also, <laughs> I also think as well, um, it would be really helpful to, to share a bit about what the workload looks like mm, as well and just speak to, speak to that and maybe you could start and then we might talk about Masters after that. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, I um, never imagined I'd do a degree. Um, for me, I went through our three years of our practical ministry course um, and that ended up sort of because I was on this trajectory, it gave me a bit of confidence. Um, and I also, you know, been embedded within the college experience up to that point and, and in church life and it started to uh, become aware of what God had put on my life and that I might want to be a teacher. And mm. so I thought, well, I probably need to get equipped for that. But um, one of the great things I've recognised is that you don't do a degree because you can already do it. If you could, you wouldn't bother, yeah, if you see what I mean. Um, right. And whilst mm. you're on your course, you are progressing towards that. You're mm. progressing towards attaining your degree. Mm. Um, and then I had the same experience, actually, when I did my master's. I was like, I can't do this. But it's because I was working towards that. And with great people around me and lecturers mm. and trainers, um, they were helping me to aspire to who I could be. Mm. Um, and obviously at Hillsong College, we do that within our incredible environment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it is faith-filled and we are part of a culture, a church culture that believes in us sometimes more than we believe in ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I was in a great community of encouragement as well um, mm -hmm. and ended up just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying study. 
So you did, so just to reiterate, you did three years of Hillsong College. Yeah. First year, second year, advanced diploma. Yeah. And then you did your Bachelor of Theology. Yeah. And then your Master's of Theology. And then I did my Master's, yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, it won't be everybody's journey. Some mm. people will want to come straight into the degree. Mm. Uh, but the great thing is they don't have to miss out on being part of this great church and yeah. finding themselves yeah. in chapel yeah, still and right. finding themselves serving on the weekend. Mm. It's just a, it's a different journey. And some people, and Tanya can speak into this, yeah. may have a bachelor in something completely different, yeah. but be able to step into our Master of Arts yeah. and find themselves on their journey too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good. So the Master of Arts then. Yes. Yeah, and I think I love um, what you said, Tracy, that you learn as you go, because I think that's very true for our Master's program. Yeah. There are um, you know, a lot of people at our, in our college that have an undergraduate in various other areas, so... You, Everything from engineering through mm. to, you know, graphic design through to, um, yeah, just a really wide range of undergraduate degrees. But people who feel that they're called to um, study theology and to work out perhaps even how theology combines with their previous experience. Mm. So we have all kinds of people who um, are working towards bringing those things together. So... And I think what we do in RES 400, which is our first intro to research class, um, we really start to look at how do you think at a master's level and how can you use your experience and then also learn what you don't know. So pick up things that you may not have otherwise been experienced you know be exposed to and that could be for example people who are in an engineering degree they don't necessarily know how to write essays that can be a really mm. formidable task but we have the writing lab which mm. you know on a weekly basis you can sit and talk about how you would learn to write an essay mm. and think about how you structure and how you can get your ideas um, presented in the best possible mm. way um, so I think, yeah, we, we teach you yeah. to get to that. And then by the time you're at the end of the master's degree and you're looking at your research paper, um, you know, you feel incredibly confident, I think. I think, you know, where you've had enough people around you saying, you can do it, you can do it, that yeah. you feel like, I actually can. Right. Yeah. Um, and then it becomes about the content that you're learning and what you're contributing, what you're bringing into um, that, you know, into the church, really, as yeah. you study on your knees, we say, as we, mm. you study yeah. prayerfully and as you study with, you know, the um, call that you have yeah. that God's mm. given you. Yeah. We've actually just had a question come through and I think you've probably answered part of it, which is what are the entry requirements? Right. And so yeah. for the master's, yeah. Yeah. is it right to say you need a bachelor's degree in, in yes. something? Yes, in something. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it could be, yeah, very variable, um, but so long it's in, as it's an accredited college, um, you know, and yeah. you have a transcript and um, you, I think you can even apply as you're finishing the, you know, um, the end of your degree and um, awaiting, mm. you know, um, your final uh, your completion yeah um yeah. yeah so long as you you have an undergrad you can come into the master's program yeah good mm -hmm. very good yeah. um all right well we've just got a couple of minutes left i thought we might just mention online briefly and matt um, i know that you do a lot of tutoring for our online students and uh yes. and uh, yeah tell us a little bit about the online course online campus i should probably say yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah so we do have an online program where uh, students can study from home or wherever you might find yourself. We have students all around the world studying online. And what that means is you can take uh, uh, any number of subjects. We wouldn't recommend any more than four. In fact, we'd recommend one or two to start off with to see where you're at uh, and to kind of learn the rhythm of studying at this level. Um, but what will happen is your lecture is actually made available to you in video format online and your uh, assessment um, assessments like your essays and the other uh, types of assessments. The details will, will be available on what we call a portal, which is a website you can log on to as a student and all the information will be there. And you'll also have a tutor for each one of your subjects who you can email and be in contact with and ask any questions. And they'll be helping you through the journey along the way uh, as you complete those assessments and engage with, with the material there that's filmed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, we film a lot of that actually in here in the studio, we do. Like, right where we are. Yeah. We do. Mm. Uh, yeah, our online program is, um, is 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 really is really great because I guess it, it's helpful if someone's maybe done college and maybe travelled back home to the home country but wants yeah. to pick up their studies again. The online program is perfect yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. Perfect for people who are in leadership in churches. And yeah, like Matt said, it's it's got a real flexible um, delivery. Uh, mm -hmm. You can do it at your own pace, which is fantastic. But I, I believe you can also connect in with the Hillsong College World, and we post up our chapel yeah. messages and um, we live stream our prayer meetings at Hillsong College. So we do whatever. We can 
to keep you guys in the in yeah. the life yeah. of the college, which is yeah. fantastic. Well, it's been great um, having you. So, um, thanks for um, joining us this afternoon for our higher education panel, and uh, it's been great. Thank you, Matt, Tanya, Tracy, no for joining us, and to be sure to tune in for the rest of the day's activities.